745 on a Friday morning. It's cold out there and rainy. Doesn't feel much like summer's right around the corner, but it actually is. And for movie fans, that means summer blockbuster time is here. In fact, uh, summer movie season starts in May with the release of Thor and Kevin Carr mm -hmm. from FatGuysAtTheMovies.com is here to talk about what you think will be the five biggest summer blockbusters. Maybe not the biggest, the ones I'm looking forward to the most. You ones you would probably recommend yeah. based on having not seen them. Having not seen them, the ones that, that, are, <laughs> that are getting me all excited and rubbing my hands together and I can't wait. All right, now Green <clears throat> Lantern starts off sort of the summer season on June 17th. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds uh, plays that uh, comic character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I, I, you, we got Thor coming up in two weeks. That's really the official start. I didn't read Thor. I read Green Lantern. I love Green Lantern as yeah, a kid. Yeah. I was, I'm very excited about the movie. It's going to be high, <clears throat> lots of effects, and but it's going to be a lighter movie. I don't think it's going to be as dark and heavy. Not, and not everything needs to be the Dark Knight. Not everything can be the Dark Knight. <clears throat> Ryan Reynolds as as Hal Jordan being the Green Lantern to be in charge of protecting the Earth. Was he a surprising choice for you to be this action hero? I don't know that I've ever seen him in this kind of role. Yeah, this is this is a new a new a new jump to a, a larger uh, audience for him. I'm not surprised with him. I think he he's, he has what it takes. Yeah. Um, I. I they could have gotten a lot worse. I mean, I think he's going to do a great job okay. as Hal Jordan and I, from the footage and uh, the stuff I've seen of it. Green Lantern opening June 17th wide. All right, a lot of people, a lot of people excited for this one, of course. Yeah. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 comes out on July 15th. That's right. This is, of course, the eighth movie. It's the second part of the second movie. And if you haven't seen the, the first part, it just came out last week on DVD and video. You go can get go it. check it out. Yeah. You can get yourself all prepped for it. It's the last. You know, th what's neat about this is it's been 10 years I I over, over this entire series and what movie has what series have ever done eight sequels I don't know or eight movies and have kept this level of quality Not I, that I, I've ever seen and if you maybe the James Bond movies or something like that so this is very unique I'm excited for this it kind of brings it all together thought the book was great um, I'm definitely looking forward to this just as to wrap everything up bad or good everyone's gonna go see this movie yeah this Every... is gonna be a billion dollar movie of course it is. all right very interesting concept for your third pick Kevin yeah. Cowboys and Aliens which That's is right. like sci-fi slash Western. That's right. Well, it's it, the movie said the title says it all. It's it sure got does. cowboys. It's got aliens. It's got Indiana Jones what else and do you need? James Bond fighting aliens in the old west. What else? Uh, what couldn't be better with this? You've got John Favreau directing it, who did the first two Iron Man movies and Zathora. So he's a great director. It's one of the few movies this summer that's it's actually an original story. It's not a remake, sequel, reboot, or something like that. Uh, but it looks, the, the early footage looks great, it looks exciting, and it's very high concept and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, that opens up July 29th. Uh, another Planet of the Apes sort of rewind movie. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Rise of the Planet of the Apes and James Franco starring in that. He just was nominated for an Oscar. Yes, and, and host of the Oscars. And a host of the Oscars. You know. <laughs> Not well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But you know what? This is, um, this was off my radar for a couple, you know, if I did this two weeks ago, this probably wouldn't have been on here, but they dropped a trailer. Looks fantastic. And what's neat about it is it goes back to the origins of the Planet of the Apes movies. They made a whole bunch in the 60s and 70s. They did a, re, uh, a, a remake a couple years ago. This looks really, it's got Weta doing the, the, the ape effect. So I'm really excited for this one. All right, the last one to talk about would be uh, don't be afraid of the dark, right? Mm -hmm. And Katie Holmes is returning to the feature yeah. film arena in this one. Yeah, that's not why I'm looking forward to it, though. Yeah, no, no me not neither. Not for Katie Holmes. Particularly. <laughs> she doesn't do that much for me. No. She's from Ohio. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, but what's neat about this movie is it's based on an old TV movie that's, that's sort of cheap and crummy that was made in the 70s. And uh, you've got Guillermo del Toro kind of, kind of spearheading this, producing it. It looks like a really creepy movie. What's neat about this is this and Planet of the Apes both come out in August, which generally are kind of not great, not a great time for movies. Yeah, I'm excited for both of these. It's going to be very scary and, and very effective. All right, five great movies to check out this summer. Thank you, Kevin Carr from FatGuysAtTheMovies.com. We appreciate it. Thank you. See you at the movies.